I'm Angie and welcome to my YouTube channel or if you already know me welcome back today we are going to be deep cleaning my room and I mean it this time I am so serious I'm gonna show you the best way to deep clean your room but currently I just finished my morning coffee but if you're anything like me this is only the first cup because you cannot be a college student and like not addicted to coffee if you're not addicted to coffee you're addicted to monster or Red Bull but right now, I just got out of the shower. I'm just kind of like getting ready to go out because before we start cleaning, there's some stuff that I need to pick up. But I'm gonna walk through some of the stuff that I've been using lately because I've like completely turned myself around. So lately I've been using this leave-in conditioner. This is the high porosity one, which I don't recommend for people with like straight hair, but I have really, really thick hair. So I need like a good leave-in conditioner. Lately, I've been seeing such a difference in my skin, and this is the products that I've been using. I've been loving this peach lily cream, and it's so thick, and I looked into the ingredients list after it made such a difference in my skin, and I'm pretty sure, like, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I think it's like niacinamide or something. And then, this has just been so hydrating. It's literally, like, the best thing I've ever spent my money on. And the e.l.f. skin kind of reminds me of, like, a primer, and it has a little bit of light foundation color, so it's good at, like, evening my skin tone. So, I've just been loving these products. Also, while well, putting on my skincare i just wanted to thank everyone that supported my last video it was like a closet clean out video and i put some extra love into it but i like did not expect the amount of views that video was gonna get which is still not a lot compared to like big youtubers but it's a lot for me and i'm just in shock because i did not start this youtube channel that long ago and just seeing like the fruits of my labor is just such a gratifying feeling and it makes me want to do more so i just wanted to say thank you okay so i have on the first two skincare products and i'm gonna let them soak in before i put on my sunscreen but i'm gonna show you what my room looks like right now i'm gonna start at the beginning of my room i have this basket of just random stuff and i'm starting to accumulate things on top of my dresser which this is a new addition to the room and i'm gonna show you how i've organized that later all these dishes the pile of clothes is like overwhelming this is the state of the other half of my room and i feel like it just looks so cluttered i just need to tidy it up and get rid of some stuff but the closet's not too bad let me just open these doors up so the closet has pretty much maintained itself everything is still where it needs to be it's just that i need to bring all these clothes over here also this is a change from my last video too all the pants that went up there are now in my dresser I think that the game plan right now is to throw my laundry into the wash before I go to the store and then I'm going to take everything out of my desk, out from under my bed, just take everything and take it out of my room so that I can face my mess. Also it's like fall so I need to take out the air conditioner. So another thing I want to change is I want to put my PC and stuff into storage because I'm just not using it as often now that I'm using like my MacBook and I want to have some desk space to actually use my MacBook. All right so I'm gonna finish getting ready and then we're gonna tackle all that laundry together. So I'm back from the store. I got carpet cleaner, which is like a dust that you sprinkle into your carpet and then you vacuum it out and it leaves the carpet smelling so perfect. And then I got Febreze, this smells like roses, and Clorox disinfecting wipes. Now I'm gonna take literally everything out of my room and put it into the hallway. So that's what we're gonna do now. And I'm only gonna put back what is supposed to be in my room.
this air conditioner water all over me when I try to take that out. and I just finished going through all the bins. This is the donation bag, this is the trash bag, and that's all the stuff that I'm gonna be bringing to Plato's closet. So I'm gonna take everything out of the drawers, everything out of these bags, and put it on the bed and go through that stuff. check-in this is the state of my room right now i got my desk completely cleaned out i went through every bag and now all my sheets are washed and i'm ready to put my bed back together after i put my bed back together i'm gonna vacuum the floors and then i'm just gonna tidy up a few things and then we'll be ready for the final reveal Hi everybody, welcome back. It is the next day and my room is completely clean. Finished all the laundry and now it's perfection. But before I show you anything, I just need to describe the smell of my room right now. Like it smells like fresh flowers. My entire bed smells like when you open the dryer and all that nice smell like just hits your face. I have a candle going right now. Yeah, it's perfect. And there's like no better feeling than just opening every drawer in your room and it's perfectly organized and there's nothing hiding under your bed. There's just 
no clutter hiding. Even though it, you can't see it, it's still there, you know? But without further ado, let me show you my room. So this is what my room looks like when you walk in. I'll start at the door. I have a license plate up there and some of my cute like sentimental photos, my flower lamp, and on my dresser I have all of my jewelry in the dish. I have all my lotions in here. I have my skincare on top, my concealers and foundations, moisturizers and face masks and big products. And on the other side I have chapsticks and lip glosses. I have blushes and lipsticks, eyeshadows and like everything for my eyes and then big products. Looks like face masks. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna show is very personal, but it's really pretty at the same time, so. So I organized all of my bras into like a pretty row, like how you see on Pinterest and stuff, and like boy shorts and everything. And these are all of like the sets that I collect, and I have all of my perfumes, like this YSL perfume. This is like my pants drawer, so I have my workout shorts, my sleeping pants and then I have all of my skirts and shorts all color coordinated. When I was organizing these drawers I took a lot of inspiration from Marie Kondo because Marie Kondo kind of uses like a file folding method so if you want to learn more about that just look up like Marie Kondo file folding and you'll see. In this drawer I have all of my bigger pants like my jeans and stuff all color coordinated and file folded. Then I designated these two drawers to storage, so I have like all my notebooks and books and stuff in here. And in here I have hair tools, cleaning products, and like some of my winter jackets. Underneath my dresser I have my backpack, this cute floral storage box, and then I just have my yoga mat and some old paintings. So that's my dresser, and those are my three wall paintings and my flower that never dies. So here's a closer look at my orchid, and a closer look at these. That's a tile that says Nantucket. This is something about like mother nature, it's like a poem. And then this one about like happiness and butterflies. So here's this side of my room. So to start I have some license plates, and then I have this thing for hooks where I hang all of my purses. Got this one from my friend, this one from my boyfriend. This um water bottle holder it's strawberries and i made this and it has some flowers there's just some more bags and if anybody doesn't know i just have a tiny just a tiny little addiction to vera bradley bags so in this corner i have a net that i made for my squishmallow i finally changed the calendar to october and then i have tyler the creator's cherry bomb and this is my side table and i have this cute lamp thing so yankee candle used to make these and you can put their candle in it like this and it kind of turns into a lamp and it kind of has like this sort of effect. I also feel like it's safer than having just an open flame. So having this candle thing gives me some peace of mind. I have two of them and I got them both at Savers. They're there pretty often. And this dish is a heart dish that I also got from Savers. So I'm only going to open this one. This drawer is for all of my socks. I have like all of my socks color coordinated. And obviously, like, this is my bed. Above my bed, I have this star and a canopy. And this is where I keep all of my hair clips and my barrettes. I keep them there because if I put them anywhere else, I just lose them. Like, they just kind of disappear on me. So I just have all these cute pillows. And this is my childhood bear. He's so cute. And I also want to rep Annika's brand. Annika's another YouTuber on here. Annika's a really big inspiration to me. And she's the first person that I've ever bought anything from on YouTube. And she made this cute bear and I just love it so much. Boop. And here's my new desk area. On my desk I have this squishmallow that smells like coffee. All of these magazines are Thrasher from when I used to skateboard often. I have a picture of me, my sister, my best friend. And then this water bottle is from my boyfriend. In this one there's some more Thrasher magazines and some vintage Playboys. And behind my laptop I added this somersault poster. I just love somersault. I have some squishmallows, Ponyo, my happy birthday headband, a doll from my boyfriend's grandma for good luck and just some necklaces and stuff like that which I also have this like little old bean bag that I put my airpods in and then I hook it onto like a purse or a backpack which is like the cutest thing ever this is the inside of the desk I have my drawing notebook I have my planner this which I'll be using later to edit this video my Apple watch my iPad and my Kindle from when I was like like I don't even know how old I was and my pencils and in the back I just have some other things my 
my DS, my old phone, just some random stuff. And this is the last part of my bedroom. So on the outside of my closet, I have all of my tote bags. I have some of my purses that make me happy and all of the hats that I collected. And then above my closet, I have some vines and this aloha plate that I got from Hawaii. And this is the inside of my closet. On this side, I have a houseplants poster. And on the other, I have this hand-painted poster from New York City. It's Audrey Hepburn. Then I have my blazers, my Doc Martens, my running shoes, my slippers, Converse, and all of my Nikes. And this is all color-coordinated. And then at the top, I have all of my Squishmallows. Here, a little man that wants to come in. Come on in. Come on up up. <laughs> what a good boy. All right, so I'm at my computer and there was just one last thing I wanted to talk about before I got off. So at my desk, I've been sitting on this like leather cube, which was fine up until today because I was never sitting here. But now that I want to use my desk for homework, I want to add something different. So I'm just looking for an example. When I was at the thrift store the other day, I kept seeing armchairs like this one, like this one, but they weren't full sized. They were like miniature armchairs. The arms would still fit under my desk and it wouldn't be wider than my desk. It like almost looked like it was meant for a child, you know? Just think about it, like a little miniature armchair just right there. So that's it for today's video. I wanted to say thank you to everybody that made it to the end. I'm gonna put something like probably on screen that you can comment if you made it all the way down to the end. But yeah, that's it. I hope everyone enjoyed and I will see you probably like next month. <laughs> all right, bye everybody.